Dr. P here to talk about the real origin of the hypoglossal nerve, namely the hypoglossal nucleus. Now I've got the hypoglossal nerve right there. I've got a couple bumps that we talked about previously. We've got a, a bump anterior, anteriorly, the, the pyramid, and you've got the olivary protuberance right here. So in a pre-olivary position sits the hypoglossal nerve. Now what does the nerve do? Well, when it comes in, it actually has a posteromedial course where it sits directly underneath the fourth ventricle as the hypoglossal nucleus. Now there are two paired nuclei, so there's obviously a hypoglossal nerve coming out the other side as well. I've drawn it a little bit crooked, but no matter. And the hypoglossal nucleus receives input from both motor cortices, but the contralateral input is dominant. So innervation of the tongue is essentially lateralized. Signals from muscle spindles on the tongue travel through the hypoglossal nerve, moving onto the lingual nerve, which synapses on the trigeminal and mesencephalic nucleus of nerve number five. There's also important contributions to the tongue musculature. So in summary, the hypoglossal nerve, or the 12th cranial nerve, arise from paired nuclei in the most caudal aspect of the brainstem, posterior, underneath the fourth ventricle, the nerves course in the medullary space, in other words, in the medulla oblongata, anterolaterally, there's the apparent exit, then courses laterally where it reaches the hypoglossal canal, and then descends behind the vagus nerve in the carotid space. Dr. P, out.